Hello and welcome to another Wilson 18 tutorial. In this video we're going to be showing you how you can set up SSH so that you can log in with public and private keys well, um, without a password. Obviously you can add a password to it but it just makes things a little bit easier for you. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be following this guide here which is on the website. So if you just go over to wilson18.com and go to the Debian section you can then find this link here. Um, it might be a bit further down but here it is and this is just gonna roughly guide you through it you can copy all the commands you can see pictures there's even a video on there as well which is this one that I'm doing now um, so let's get started shall we so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to download putty and um, so you what you can do is you can just click this link here and it'll automatically download it for you or you can go over to putty.org I believe it is and then go to here and the link you want to download is this one here and this is just because it installs all the other packages that we need so we can just go ahead and run through all of these it's pretty simple installation just keep clicking next and we're done so what we need to do is we need to open up putty this is just so we can connect to our server using ssh then we're going to create our connection so we're just going to call it root at and then the server's IP so 192.168.99.206.64 I believe it is um, then we can um, give it a name so let's just call this SSH tutorial right and I'm just going to quickly pause this while I set up the rest of it just so that you can all read all the commands we're typing in Right, okay, and once you've completed everything, just click save, and then you can click open. So, as you can see, all I've done is just slightly increase the font and change the colour to green, because, you know, programs like green. Um, so, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to start following the commands. So, the first one we're going to do is just make sure that we update our server. So, we the first... Well, the way we do this is just type in app to get update, app to get upgrade. It should have all the packages up to date because I've literally just done this just to save a bit of time. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the SSH hyphen keygen. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate as a set of public and private keys. So what you can do is you can enter a file name here or you can just leave it blank and it will just default. So that's what we're going to do. And if you want a password, by the way, you're going to want to enter one here. This is just so that um, in order to decrypt the key, you're going to have to put a password in. So what that'll do is that'll generate us a nice pretty picture. And once we've done that, we can actually move to that directory where the keys have been created. So we're going to change to the home directory into the .ssh directory. Then we're going to list the files in it and change the permissions on them so they can be um, accessed. And we're then just going to apply this to everything in that directory. So we can do that and these are the two files it's created. So this is the public key and this is the private key. So what we need to do is we need to copy that public key into the... Oh, Sorry, into the authorized keys file. Um, as you can see, we don't actually have one, so what this will do is it will create one for us. So we're going to cat and then the file we want to copy, and then we're saying put it in this file. So we'll just go ahead and click enter. Then what we're going to do is we're going to install a program called Nano. Um, this is just our text editor, it's the one I like to use. You can use V or any of the other ones that are out there. Um, and then we're going to nano the config file, which is just open it up in this config or in this um, editor which we have created. Oh, not created, sorry, uh, downloaded. So the bit we're looking for here is a line which says authorized key file. And this is just so that the SSH um, server knows where to look for the keys to authorize. So this is it here. So what I want to do is just remove this hash symbol and save it so control o and then control x and um, the next thing we need to do is just open up that key file so we can save it so this is what it looks like you should notice it says begin as um, rsa private key here and end it here so what we need to do is we just need to highlight all the way down 
just like you would do to copy it but when you right click it it will copy it and paste it to the current place like it has just done there so what we now want to do is because we've copied it and it's saved to our clipboard we want to exit the file without saving so control x and then n because we don't want to save it the next thing we need to do is open up um, notepad no let's just type in there so we can open up notepad and we can actually save this file so we can paste it in here and just click save doesn't matter what you save it as so I'm just going to call it my key and we've saved it so the next thing we're just going to quickly do is restart the actual server um, the SSH server should I say so just service SSH restart quite simple the next thing we need to do is open up putty gen I think that's what it's called putty gen and what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to import that private key which we've saved in our doc documents and then we can save this as a private key what this will mean is that we can then load this into putty so that we can actually use this to connect to our servers so yeah we've saved it and obviously if you want to if you have a password you'd enter this here um, or you can actually create one here without doing it originally so we can just save this as anything we like so let's just call it my key again and it'll actually save that as a dot pkk um, file I believe let's just have a look yeah I think it's just that's that's the extension it has um, but anyway it doesn't matter so the next thing we want to do is just go back into putty so we've got this here and we can load our SSH um, tutorial saved thing that we did and we can actually go to the SSH section screw, um, just click the little plus thing to extend it and go to the auth section we can then browse for the key we've just created and you should see that it now has um, a nice little icon and it is a .ppk not pkk um, so yeah open that and scroll right back to the top into the session and click save what this will do is it will then save the key so it knows to use it next time and when we open up it logs in without a password so that's great um, so yeah I hope this video has been useful I hope you've learned how to use the private keys um, and I hope you put this to good use so if you do have a server at home and you want to connect to it or if you've got um, a, a VPS somewhere there you go you can connect to it without using a password so if you have found this video useful and you want to see more like this please click that subscribe button it really helps it lets me know that I'm doing things well and that the stuff I'm creating is useful um, along with that the same applies to the like and dislike buttons if you like the videos please do click that like button it really really helps and if you don't like it click that dislike button and tell me why in the comments it really helps knowing what I can improve on so thank you for watching and um, have a great day, night, morning, afternoon, whatever it is. See you guys.